Someone sent me an email a few weeks ago asking, can an introvert become a good photographer? I'm not going to name this person, let's just call them John Smith. Well, this series of photography coaching videos, they're about exactly this kind of thing. It's about finding confidence in yourself, your abilities, and indeed the others around you. Let me just read you the email. One question about photography that I would really appreciate your advice on is this. Can an introvert become a good photographer? And are there any ways that you would really recommend to become less shy when taking photos in public? I would really love to gain more confidence in taking photos in public places. I've watched a few videos on street photography and would love to get to that level of confidence. I've signed up to a number of forums where I can upload some pictures and ask for critiques. I would love to do photography as a hobby. <clears throat> However, my general lack of confidence is what stops me. Part of me feels that I'm too old to get into photography, in brackets, 25 years. Should I have been brought up with a camera, this would be something that may have come more naturally. I would love to have a good understanding of photography, as this could be something that when I get older and plan for a family, it could be a shared interest. However, <clears throat> I don't feel I can be a role model if I don't have the confidence to do it myself. In a way, I would be watching the game from the sidelines, whereas I would rather be playing the game. Well, age. I'm too old to get into photography at 25. Well, I was about your age when I got my first SLR. There weren't DSLRs in those days. No, you're never too old to start photography. There are people doing my courses right now who have taken up photography in their retirement. If you double the time you have lived and then spend the next 25 years learning, you will still be younger than I am. Confidence is an issue for a lot of photographers, so you're not alone especially when they're starting out. Somebody posted on our Facebook page about this a couple of weeks ago. Melissa, who now administers the page, wrote a very moving piece about an experience she had when someone very publicly slammed her and her photography. They didn't just say, I don't like this, they were really nasty. Now, I can see from the number of responses we got to that post how much this actually affects people. But think about it, it's actually very rare Someone will be openly nasty, as in this instance. And it probably stems from something completely unconnected from you or Melissa's photography. But whatever, if this happens to you, ask yourself a couple of questions. Does the opinion of someone this unpleasant actually matter? What would most people think about someone who would be so rude and derogatory in such a public fashion? i put it to you that most people would say, well, forget them. You know, if they depend on what you're doing to be happy and fulfilled, that is their problem. Now, a lot of photographers feel self-conscious when they're in a public place with all that kit, tripod, etc., because they're scared someone will ask them if they're a professional. Well, what's wrong with the truth? What do you think would happen if you said, well, no, actually, I'm learning photography and I've come out to practice and figure out what all this stuff does? They'd probably say to you, oh, that's cool, you know, I'd love to do that. Where are you studying? And then a conversation is born and you never know where that conversation will end up. You could have just met the love of your life or at the very least, maybe a new friend to go photographying with, photographying, whatever that is, but you never know. The thing is, it's okay if you don't know everything. Do you think Ansel Adams, Steve McCurry, Cartier-Bresson, Sebastio Salgado, who is an absolute hero of mine, me or anyone else, didn't have to start somewhere? So as a beginner, you are in some very fine company there. Now John also said, I would love to have a good understanding of, a good understanding of photography. <clears throat> well, in another of this series of videos. I asked the question, how dedicated to your photography are you? There's a link in the text below and on screen. My question back to you is this, how much do you love to have a good understanding of photography? Let me rephrase that. How much would you love to have a good understanding of photography? Enough to step over the shyness and go out into the pitch and do it? <clears throat> 
I know it can be painful if you're naturally shy, but all the best lessons and achievements, they always begin in scary land. Just take it one little step at a time. If you want to go shoot street scenes, don't try to emulate someone who's been doing it for years. Begin slowly, maybe with buskers or street performers who are used to being the centre of attention. Try talking to them first, and I know that may be scary for you, but you'll probably find they'd love you to take their photos. And if they don't, the worst they can say is no. And then it's up to you to either let that no stop you, dead in your tracks, or to politely say, okay, no worries, sorry to trouble you. And then you can go off and go and find someone else to photograph. The no doesn't mean you're bad and wrong and crap. It just means that they have their own issue with something. Now, as you practice this, there may be a few no's along the way, but I bet there'll be more yeses. And as you collect yeses, your confidence is going to grow. Now, it's always best to be honest. Tell people you're learning. Tell them you feel really shy and awkward, and they'll usually be able to relate to that and make an effort to help. Most people are great if you give them the opportunity. It may take one person to start a war, but it also takes only one person to be open and friendly. And in my experience, that's contagious. If you're into street photography and had someone react badly to you taking a picture, it's possibly because you are nervous yourself and you're acting strangely. Now, we can all smell other people's discomfort and they could probably smell it too. And it probably made them uncomfortable and possibly suspicious of what you were doing. The only way to build confidence is not to be stopped by your fear of what people may think about you. As you take small steps and do things which are uncomfortable for you now, you'll find that fear begins to diminish. Fear is rarely real or justified in the societies in which most of us live these days. The place to begin is that first small step out onto the pitch with everybody in the stadium looking at you. And that's probably a scary place for some of you. But those people looking at you, they're probably just thinking, this is an interesting person. I wonder who they are. Now, of course, inside you, the self-conscious part is shouting, but no, I'm not interesting. Stop looking at me. But that's not your choice to make because to them, you might be interesting. And maybe, just maybe, they're right. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified each time we upload one of our cool photography videos or for more great photo tips, workshops and training, come and see us at our website, photographycourses.biz.